Hello everybody out there. I got uh, something new hooked up to my Hyperpin. Some jukebox software. I think it's actually called DOS Wind Cab, something like that. I got the artwork all done for it too. When I say all done, I mean, you know, hooked up and working. Right now it's, um, you know, my, my cabinet is set up in alphabetical order. The name of it is Pin, Pin Juke cab so it's right after pinbot before pirates uh, one of the reasons that kind of motivated me for this was uh, I hooked up a 10 inch Polk audio sub in addition to my Klipsch audio um, 200 RMS setup of course I got the base port back there for the internal sub so kind of to go over this uh, just wanted to go ahead and launch it which You'll see a little um, a little black DOS screen come up, and then bam, I'm up and running. I could use my flippers to scroll through. Right now, you can see fast lane selected, and I could hit my um, my uh, magna flips are up and down. So it does kind of like jump from rocketeer to three to four, and then I could hit right with my right flipper and pick music. Hit the start button. Hey, and it's up and running. Flip through. Using the left flipper, I can go left. And I can go up with the, the left magna flipper. I'll hit start again, and you can see it going up into the queue. It also tells you how many how many songs are coming up. Of course, I also hooked it up to my coin button, so whenever you put in quarters, it'll say credits three. So. You could actually make it so you got to put in coins or whatever. Of course, mine's set up on free play, or, so it doesn't really matter. But one of the cons is is you could still see the wheel while this is running, and it's locked down. Like the application is running, not the not the wheel. So you can still see the wheel in the background. Once you hit the exit, the application is no longer running. You can use the flippers to flip through. My B2S's work, so you can go to party zone. My B2S's are working. My regular, my regular stuff is working. I did have some issues where Pin, pin Juke Cab was trying to change my desktop background to its background. And then whenever I was restarting my computer, I was having white desktop um, background. That was all bad. So I took off the um, the feature for the pin juke. So that way it wouldn't even attempt to change my desktop background. Didn't really care for that. So once again, oops, I didn't want that one. I'm hitting the, the wrong buttons. Actually, no, this is okay. I'm hitting down, so that makes sense. But it's it's kind of cool how whenever there's two songs from the same artist, you know, it'll, it'll go. Bridges burn to the ground. Anyways. I know that you guys might not like my uh, selection of music, but it's very simple to just run. Of course, I spent about six hours editing the the FP launch and trying not to screw up anything existing. I had to work on my B2Ss, make sure everything was working good. Did a lot of the testing, but um, knock on wood, after all that work, 
finally got a jukebox software running in my cabinet and it sounds good because of that extra sub well originally my my 200 rms klipsch audio system is pretty damn loud this just adds more to it anyways thanks for watching if i get enough um if i get enough comments of ooh i want it maybe i'll have a maybe i'll set up something and do a little tutorial a beta tutorial and if it works out with a couple of testers then i can actually have some um, have it released for everybody to use thanks for watching